So guys, now what we're gonna do, we split the hair in two. We're gonna place the comb on the flat part of the head. See where the comb once again comes off the head at the back? We're gonna come from there, and we're gonna hit the recession on the right hand side. Fine side of the comb goes in, move everything on the right hand side over to the right, and once again move everything that is past the hairline over to the centre, like so. On out to the recession and section that on out. There we go. Spread in butter on toast. Spread that, get that beautiful tension in there. Fine side of the comb, more tension, more control. Spread that on in, like so. Bring the head so closer towards you. Underneath, over the top. And it's that little twist at the top that gets that tension in place. All right, go again. Keeping that tension safe and secure so we can section this off as neat as possible, guys. All right, there we go. X marks the spot. That's going to keep that tension nice, safe, and secure in there. All right, that's going to keep our top part sectioned on it like so. Okay, in the direction that we're going to cut it. I'm going to tilt the head off to the side. My body is parallel to the area that I'm working on. My body's parallel. My body's not back here. My body's not all the way around here. My body is parallel to the area that I'm working on. So here we go. We want to come in. Section number one, like so. I'm going to drive the comb all the way down to the top of the ear. The fine side of the comb is going to go in. I want to separate that section on out just like that. All right, and that is section number one. I'm going to look to reduce the length in this area a touch to begin to reduce the weight. So length, shape, and weight. Here we go. Finger, comb, comb goes out of the way. Okay, scissor, matching that. We cut from the fingertip to the first knuckle, and we stop. We then bring the comb underneath, like so. Fine side of the comb. Fingers come behind the comb. I'm gonna take a little step to the left so I can see my cutting line. There's my guide, that's what I have to cut. And I follow that guide the whole way down. Retracting the scissor each time. And guys, smaller incisions the better. Believe me when I say that. Over the ear. Here we go. Groom the section on out. I'm gonna bring in a little clip here. Keep everything as safe and secure as possible. And here we go. Now, guys, what I'm doing at this point is just analyzing where I am on the head. For example, this area in the head here, is it flat or is it round? Flat, see that? Take this as matter of fact for now, guys. We over direct. Here we go. Bring our new section right down to our old one. Find our guide, there it is. And we essentially just cut to that guide. We're going to bring section number one down up to section number two I'm going to over direct section number two back to one boom over direction complete i'm now moving on to the flat part of the head now i don't want to build any more weight because i'm no longer on the round part comb is going to come in underneath elevate elevate now we elevate we lift we elevate on up elevate that section on up we bring it round, no over direction, no building weight. Now, let's look at the difference. Comb it down. From where we cut, guys, which area looks heavier? The round. the round part. Last point where we started to build up some weight. Here we go. Check the guide. There it is. We cut that line. Coming in underneath guys, elevating that section right on out. Notice how guys I'm starting to follow round with the shape of the head.
looking at the roots, looking at the roots of the hair and ask myself, is it on the round part or is it on the flat part? If it's on the round part, I'm going to over direct it and so build up some weight. If it's on the flat part, guys, I'm going to elevate it and so reduce the weight. It's nice and square. So the idea, guys, of building some weight is to make an area that is round look nice and square. Do you see that? I pull out my section this way. Here we go, once again. Nice and square. Pull it straight out. We have something that is triangular. You see that? Short towards the bottom, longer towards the top. And that is how we build some weight. Top, about there. I'm going to point cut that line on through now. There we go. And you can see, guys, there's a subtle difference between the length on the sides and the length that we're using for the shape on top. Okay, note so I'm not taking a massive amount of length off. Just refreshing the length that is there already. Point cut that line, easy peasy. Keeping the head up nice and straight there. I'm going to bring section number one back into section number two. See the difference? Take that on off. Any difference in length, I'm going to take that right on off there, guys. Boom. That's going to sit really, really nicely. Last little section here at the front. All the way into the back. There we go. Cut that difference. Okay, point cut that one out. Beautiful. Section number two. Section number one comes all the way back. Section number two. Slight difference in length. Round all that off there towards the side. Alright, just clear out that little area there. like so. Okay, a nice little diagonal table. Okay. Beautiful hair back. Underneath where the number two was. I'm gonna clear off all that little excess bulk there. Point five now guys, the one open. Flicking that right on in to where the transition guard went to. Again guys, similar process to yesterday, just walking down the guards. I'm going to go in with the number one. Right underneath that. Okay, walking that right on in. And lastly, close the clipper blade a little bit. Going in with the zero. And we're just walking down the guards each time. One point five, right on the neat where the transition guard went to, guys. And the number one. And then finally we're going to drop it down a little touch to the zero before we refine everything together.
little bit nicer, but we are going to introduce just a little bit of skin to it, just a little bit. I'm going to flick that right in to where the number two was. Open it up. Bring it right on in there. I'm going to just taper it one side before I move on to the other. Right underneath. Transition. And the one. Again, just referencing the shape of the head, guys, at all times. Coming off that, and then of course, guys, a zero at the very, very end. You just tilt your head forward there, can you, sir? That's great. We're gonna go back in there with the 1.5. Drop it down and touch on the one. A walking stick at an angle. Walking stick at an angle. So all I'm doing is bringing that angle right down to the bottom.